Hi guys, we're going to talk about allelic genes here today, and we're going to use albino and candy to do it. So, um, exclude any of the other genes, don't worry about them, we're just talking about albino and candy, because there are other genes in some of these. This is Udon, he is albino, he's representing our albino, and then we have Trolley representing our candy. And then we have Candino, which this guy's for sale still, so he does not have a name, he is quite wonderful, so hopefully he'll find a home soon. But anyway, he's Candino. So if you know anything about recessive genes, which we do, we will still discuss on this channel at some point um, more thoroughly, but you have to have two copies of a recessive gene to get a visual recessive. Otherwise, they just carry it, they don't show it. Well, so that means that this guy has two copies of the albino gene. This guy has two copies of the candy gene. Well, in some genes, they're compatible. This doesn't happen very often, especially with recessive genes, but it does happen. And that means that on that little slot where there's usually two copies of albino or two copies of candy, they can share that. They can share that same space. So you can get one copy from albino and one copy from candy if you bred them together. And that results in candino. So it's somewhere in between the candy and the albino. It is still wonderful. It's kind of unique in its own. Uh, it's not quite as purple as the candy. But oh my goodness, especially as they grow, they look wonderful. So instead of, you can see how on the albino, they're very, very clean white. The white is more of a purple, and it will stay fairly purple. It will never be as white as on the albino. So it will, it will, but it will never be as purple as the candy, but it's still a wonderful purple color. It looks so good with that yellow. And the yellow is kind of a more um, creamy, light yellow similar to on the candies instead of that bright bright well I mean to be fair udon is an exceptional example of albino so they aren't all this bright anyway but I have noticed on the candies and the candy nose it is usually the lighter creamier type of yellow but yes so in some snakes in some in some with some genes uh, they're allelic which means you can have one copy from each gene and get something kind of in the middle or kind of different and this is called allelic again there's not a lot of genes like this there are examples especially with incomplete dominant genes um, such as inchi and black pastel I believe are an example um, but with recessive genes there aren't a lot of options candy and albino is one of the more known ones and I honestly think they're gorgeous so that is how you get a candino because I had somebody ask thought I'd make a video these snakes are gorgeous, and when you combine them, they make more gorgeous. Just slightly different variety. Thank you, boys, for being wonderful examples. <laughs> this little guy is so sweet. Trolley, you're not normally shy. What you do? Well, I hope that that was helpful and you enjoyed these boys.